This video is for those who have wondered why they're not truly benefiting from their alliances and getting the max ability of what they can do in Stormshot. So, first things first, there are so many alliances that are just not good alliances. You've got, let's see if I got it in my bookmarks. Let me look around real quick, I'll find one. <clears throat> You've got, so as I was saying, you've got many alliances that are just not good alliances to be in. One of the big problems is people will leave their name as the basic name. You don't want to do that. You want to distinguish yourself, who you are. Like, this player with 44 million power still has a basic lord name. Like, why? Why, why keep the basic name? It makes you hard to distinguish and understand. Another, another key thing about knowing where a good alliance is is when you have a lord name as the top of the alliance it's probably not a good one to join it's probably not going to be a bene um, majorly beneficial alliance to be in let me see what this says oh i can't even change it so now we take a look at the members this is an example of a dead alliance alliance that will not benefit you in the slightest you might be able to do uh, camps and get the rallies in with the few people that joined and are active but this is a clear bad example of a good alliance this is a bad alliance you've got one rank 5 member that's only 4 million power that means that player is not even active anymore they made this alliance and new players just joined the game and wanted an alliance and joined the alliance you don't want to do that you want to look for the active alliances that are actually going to benefit you and you've got a whole bunch of people in this alliance that are not active players they just joined an alliance because they could they didn't pick pick a good one to join uh another key thing that points it out is if a lot of good alliances will not have 50 spots anymore because over time when you're in a good alliance you would do what's called donations. Which benefits your alliance and gets research that gives you higher benefits. So you want to be in an active alliance. Plus there's alliance uh, alliance buildings that are beneficial. And you're not likely going to have those in a dead alliance. For instance, uh, let me go back to... For instance, you have uh, farms alliance farms that you can gather at gather different materials and once that amount of materials is gone if you've got one r5 and everyone else is rank one you cannot rebuild that building so there will not be an alliance farm and that's if there is one even to begin with another another thing about alliances is the different bonuses you get having a hundred members active and doing donations all the time you get all kinds of different research bonuses and that's something that you should want um it actually looks like let me double check yeah we still got one going so you want to make those donations and making those donations and getting high donations every week uh <sighs> making those donations every week and get it ranking on the donation leaderboard helping your alliance contributing that helps an alliance grow and the, the more an alliance grows and the more active members in an alliance the more benefits that benefit you so you want to find that active alliance and a good way to do that is when you look at the leaderboard you want to find look at the top ones and usually those are going to be the most active ones and you want to talk to them. See if you can meet the requirements and get involved. Another big thing is you want to communicate using the Alliance chat. And that is how you find yourself a good alliance and get out of the dead ones.